My name is Celia. I'm 27 years old. I was born with diastrophic dysplasia. My dwarfism did help me back a lot because I was shy and society can be cruel. My condition definitely does not define who I am. It's been almost four years since my last relationship. This is my first blind date. Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you. So today I chose this outfit. It's a black jumpsuit. It's very comfortable and it's perfect for today's weather. I was probably six years old when I realized that I had this condition. When I was a kid, it was okay uh, because I didn't really know much about it until I started to get older and I realized that other kids were growing and I was not. So I started to see the differences. My dwarfism did help me back a lot because I was shy and uh, society can be cruel. And so it definitely helped me back. I was very self-conscious, but things have changed. You learn to embrace your condition and that's what I did. I mean, I had no choice but to, to do so. It was either that or being completely depressed. I like to date someone with humor because that's how I am. I have a good sense of humor and also someone who shows a lot of respect, someone who's educated, and someone who is not afraid of what other people think because that's definitely something that I look for. I just wanna make sure that I'm not uncomfortable or that they're not uncomfortable when we're dating. Paul Ellison Jr., military brat, moves around a lot. I've been in California for 16 years now. Now I work as a police officer and actor. I don't really have any expectations. I just want to go in pretty open and blank. So if I don't expect anything, I can't. Nothing can go wrong. Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Celia. What's your name? Celia. Celia. What's oh. your name? Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How oh, are you? I'm having a lemonade. It's good? Yeah. So how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. 30. 30. How old okay. are you? I'm 27. Almost 28. Okay. Yeah. That's not too far. No, not at all. Are you going to want something to drink? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably get something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever been on a blind date? No, I've never been on a blind date. Have you? Me neither. No. <laughs> no. So when was the last time you dated someone? Like actual relationship? It was a year, but it was a really long oh, okay. relationship. Okay. <laughs> it was like a nine year relationship. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. What about you? Let's see, my last one was like four years ago. And it lasted two years, roughly two years. Normally when I go on a date with someone, I make sure beforehand that it's someone that is okay with my condition. I let them know ahead of time that I'm a little person just to make sure that they don't insult me or they don't say anything that's going to be disrespectful towards me. But it has happened, it did happen once where I went on a date and the guy did not know that I was a little person. He had seen my pictures, but he never got to see a full body. And so when I showed up, he was quite surprised and he was comparing me to his little niece. And of course I felt disrespected and, and walked away. What do you do for, for work? I'm a teacher. Teacher? Yeah, middle oh. school. Oh, you teach all grades in middle yeah, school? Yeah, all grades. Started as a substitute mm -hmm. and then um, I went into teaching high school. So I taught high school for a year. Yeah. Then I decided to go into a master's program and that's when yeah. COVID hit. Oh yeah. And so throughout the whole master's program, I was in grad school. So I was doing my student teaching while also working that's from home, lot, yeah. literally. I did not leave my home at all. Oh, you speak Spanish? Yeah. What's your, I don't know your, what's your ethnicity? I'm Mexican. Mexican? Yeah, oh, okay. I grew up in Mexico. Oh, yeah. so you were born there? Yes. What part? Guadalajara. Well, four hours away from Guadalajara. Oh, you could teach me Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> so tell me about you. What do you What do you do? <laughs> I'm a I'm a police officer. Okay. In nice. uh, San Francisco. Nice. And I also act part time. Okay. I think like if they're in like policing, you can't let that become like your whole life, and like it'll just ruin your life. You have to have hobbies and have to have like friends and stuff outside of that environment. So acting's like a good way for me to, to get out of that. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. I think it's going pretty well so far. He's a very nice guy, easy 
to talk to. He's good looking. I like his smile. I was a little scared about how that was gonna go, but yeah, it's, it's easy. I wanna know how he feels about dating a little person and what his um, thoughts are on my condition. Just, just so I know that he's comfortable. Hey! Hey! Oof! Slippery. How's the lemonade? It's good. Not too sweet. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Looks good. Looks really good. So I probably should ask mm -hmm. your condition and like, it's the proper terminology because I don't know anything. Uh-huh. No, it's okay. <laughs> Um, it's called diastrophic dysplasia, and it's Can you a say that one more time? diastrophic. 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 Like Diastro uh -huh. diastrophic. Uh huh. Dysplasia. Dysplasia. Okay. Yeah. So it's a rare type of dwarfism. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you can see, I'm proportionate. It's just that my my legs and my my arms are shorter. Yeah. But besides that, I mean, I'm able to do just about everything. Yeah. Um, with the help of my friend, the step stool and other things. Yeah. Having dwarfism has shaped my complete life. It's something that you cannot hide, of course. And so learning to live with uh, this condition is not easy for sure. Um, so having to learn to adapt in so many ways, I always think that the world is not made for someone with my condition, but I've had to learn how to live in this world. The issue really is with people staring oh. and all of that. So the attention, the yeah. amount of attention that I get, uh -huh. that is something that you should be aware about. <laughs> I think I've learned to just block it. Mm -hmm. um, but when I'm with someone, for example, the other day I went out with my friend and I hadn't seen her in a while and we went to uh, a makeup store. And I noticed that she was standing like cl really close to me and really close to me. And I was like, what is she doing? She was trying to block me from a kid that was staring at me for a while. And I had noticed the kid a while ago, but I yeah. was just annoying them, right? But she was like, I forgot what this was like. <laughs> she was like, they won't stop staring. Kids gotta be the worst, right? <laughs> kids, but you'll be surprised. Adults uh -huh. too. And I think with kids, I don't get upset as much yeah. because their kids are curious but when a, an adult is doing that yeah. that's when I get upset you have that all this like attention on you all the time mm -hmm. as a kid it must have been rough like as you face bullying and like through your years elementary middle school and high school when so many people are saying things to you or staring they make you feel like you're some kind of alien and you just don't understand as much as you're trying to get it in your head that you're okay, that you're beautiful and that this and that, it's hard to get past those comments and it's hard to not let it hurt you. Did you uh, have a good time? Yeah, I had a good time. Oh, great meeting you. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. You ready to go out of here? Yes. Can I give you a hug? Yes, of course. <laughs> So how did the date go? It went uh, good. It was, okay. it was good. I've had a few dates. I would say this is top tier. She was passionate about teaching and she had a real kind art that I like. And that's the one I like, people I like to surround myself with. I feel really good. I had a good time. I thought it was going to be awkward having a camera while having a date, but she was great. Nice person, very humble and I really like that about him. Will we see each other again? Yes, yes, we will see each other. Uh, I, for, I can let you for myself, yeah. Yeah, I think so, <laughs> I think we'll see each other again.